So let me get straight to the point. You clicked on this video because you saw that it had free in the title and you're tired of seeing those videos that tell you that you have to pay. Well, let me tell you, you clicked on the right video because as you can see, this is a free tutorial and it's for beginners. Also, if you wanna know how to do paid transitions and effects for free, then you're in luck because I'm doing a giveaway. Yeah, so in the giveaway, I'm basically gonna be Venmoing two to three people the amount of money that it is to pay for a yearly all access pass for Video Star because I know that a lot of you can't pay. And you might be asking yourself, well, what do I do to enter this giveaway? All you have to do is you subscribe to my channel, you click, you can click the bell icon next to the subscribe button and comment your Venmo username and you can also comment why you want to win this giveaway. I'll be announcing the winners in a couple weeks so make sure to stay tuned on my channel to know if you want this giveaway. Also, if you've not signed the petition for justice for George Floyd, then please do. I'll have the link in my description. And I do almost have 42,000 subscribers, which is crazy. So I would like to use my platform for the way that it should be used. And I think that this attention for the Black Lives Matter subject is really important too. So please go sign the petition if you already haven't. Anyways, on with the video. So to start off, you want to click on the plus in the top right hand corner. And you can select your video format. And it's basically just the shape of your video file. I'm going to do the square, but you can do whatever you want. Then you want to click on select song right here and go to videos and make sure that you select your audio in your camera roll. And how you save your audio in your camera roll is usually I would just screen record it off of YouTube or Instagram. Once you've picked your audio, then you want to move your white circle to where you want your audio to start and then click set start and move it to where you want it to end and click set end. By the way, when I say white circle, I do mean that white circle. I don't mean this circle. This blue circle only appears when I screen record on Video Star. Then once you've selected the length of your audio, then just click make video down here. And then now you actually want to click on import video and you're going to import your video from your camera. So I just have this random clip of Emma Chamberlain and you want to do the same thing kind of that you did to your audio. So you're just going to move this white circle and click set start for where you want it to start and set end for where you want it to end. And also here you might want to crop it by just like using two of your fingers and then zooming in. And then once you're done with all of that, then just click import up here and you have your first video imported. Now you just want to click on add down here and click on import photo again and do this as many times as you need to for your whole edit. And again, you want to click on set start and set end. And you can also crop it by using two of your fingers and zooming in. And then just click import again. So now that you've had your clips imported, this is where you can choose what transition you want to do. I have a lot of videos on free transitions and I'll make sure to link them below. So you have your first step done. You imported your pictures. Now your second step is to add a transition. And for this video, I'm gonna be doing a simple zoom in transition and I'll basically just be showing you guys how to do that and it's for free. So to start, you want to make sure that you go on your first clip and you click on new, multi-layer, go to the one box, click on it, and then click on your clip that you have. Then go to edit keyframes right here. Once you're here, all you're gonna do is you wanna move this white circle to the very end of your line. And then you, if you see this like line down here and you want to move this white circle up and as you move it up, you can see the numbers right above it are also going up as you move it up. So I'm going to make my size about 140% and I might change it a little later. So if your video clip is longer, then I would put your size up more. And if your video clip is shorter, then I would put your size down a little bit less. So next, you want to put in a path. If you don't know what a path is, it's basically what determines the speed of your transition and it makes it just 
look a lot better. So to do that, that you just want to click on this like box right here above the circle. And now you have two options here. You can either click on this path right here and your transition will look something like this. And if you did do that option, then I would suggest moving your white circle somewhere around the middle because if you can see, I'll show you the difference between if you do and you don't put it in the middle. So yeah, it's more of like a faster zoom in, if that makes sense. And you can adjust it to whatever your clip is like. And your other option is when you click on this box, there's a word and it says custom right down here. And if you go to it, it's gonna look super confusing at first, but I have a tutorial on custom paths and I'll make sure to link that down below. In my opinion, custom paths are more professional. So if you're a beginner and you don't want to do this yet, that's no problem but i'm gonna do a custom path but you can do whatever you want so i did my custom path and this is what it looks like and this is what it looks like when you put your phone up so this is what the transition looks like so far i don't 100% like how it looks so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the size a little bit up you don't have to do this if you don't want but I just feel like it would look a little bit better so once you're done figuring all of that out and doing your custom path just click this back button up here and once you're on this screen then just click create up here and then just click done so now you have the first part of your transition almost done why i say almost is because there is one more step that will make your transition look a lot better and that is the focus effect yes this effect is free and it kind of substitutes another paid effect so all you want to do is make sure you're on your first clip that you did the zoom in on go to new re-effect the plus and then you want to go to search button and you want to search the word focus and click on it so focus basically just blurs your clip and this helps it so it's like more smooth when you have your transition if that makes sense so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on this arrow and you actually want to select this option right down here because as you can see this makes it so it's like zooming in if that makes sense then just click this down button and you have to make sure that right here it says half x instead of one x and all you do to do that is you just click on it one time that basically just makes it so the clip is slower and easier to control so now what you want to do is you want to click on re-effect and right when you do put your finger on this button right here and slide it up as the clip progresses and as you can see when you slide it up then the effect is more dramatic if that makes sense if that made no sense to you then just watch me do it and you'll understand better don't get mad if you don't get it right the first time if you have to redo it which i definitely had to a couple times then all you want to do is go to your clip click on select and select the clip that you have the zoom in on, which should be the second clip. So now for the second part of your transition, you wanna go to your second clip and you wanna go back to new, multi-layer, the one box, and your clip. So go back to edit keyframes again, and you're basically gonna do a really similar process to the first time. So you're gonna drag your white circle to the very end of the line again. And what you wanna do is click on this little down arrow button with the circle around it. It's right here, you just click on it once and that just marks the area. It basically just creates a line right there. So now you want to bring your circle back to the very first line and you want to zoom out because since it's a zoom in transition, the first part is gonna be zooming in and the second clip is gonna be also zooming in, but from the outside, if that makes sense. Once you have your circle on the very first part of the line, then 
go back to this line down here and you're actually gonna move the circle to the left instead of the right like before. I think I'm gonna make mine 65%. So once you've selected the size for the very front of your edit, then go back to the very end line and you're gonna do your path again. So again, you wanna click on this box right here with the line, like the diagonal line. And again, you have two choices. Your first choice is this path right here. And if you clicked on that path, then this is similar to what it would look like. But your second choice is you can also click on the box. And again, you can click on custom and do your own custom path, which is what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm done with my path and this is what it looks like on the side and this is what it looks like vertically. So this is what my clip looks like so far. So you're probably thinking like, why is there black around it? Well, I have a solution for you. You need to click on this back arrow again and all you're gonna do is click on this mirror button in the bottom corner and you can basically select any one of these that you want. I'm just gonna stick with the middle one, but it honestly does not matter which one that you choose. You're gonna think that it looks really weird, but it's okay, just trust the process. So now that you've done that, just click create and click on done. And you're gonna go back to that focus thing that we did earlier. All you do to do that is you make sure that you're on your second clip and click on new, re-effect, the plus sign in the bottom corner, the search again, and you wanna go back to focus. And your settings should be the same, so you should, if you click on this arrow, it should be this same one because we just did it earlier. So now click this down arrow, and you're going to do a very similar process to what you did before, except it's kind of the opposite. So before you were moving this up as the clip continued, but this time you're gonna move it down as the clip continues. So you can just watch as I do it. Now we're done with our whole thing, our whole transition, our whole edit, whatever. And this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. And make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon and comment your Venmo if you want to win the giveaway. I'm so excited to finally be doing the giveaway. And thank you so much for watching. Comment if you have any questions. I try to respond to all of them. And I'll see you guys next week.